wanted to show you this video of Sean Hannity. Uh, he has Karl Rove on there and they're talking about Joe Biden. They're talking about his remarks with the coronavirus. Keep in mind, Sean Hannity is one of the worst. He bragged that he would uh, get waterboarded, he never did. Karl Rove, he was in a criminal administration. But let's go ahead and see how Biden is giving these guys ammunition. Ever confused, confounded Joe Biden still stumbling toward the Democratic nomination, unable to even explain his own plan to address the virus outbreak. This is worse every second of every day. Take a look. And in order to avoid that, those very high numbers, we have to do at least several things. One, we have to uh, depend on what the president's going to do right now. And first of all, he has to uh, tell, uh, uh, wait till the cases before anything happens. Look, the whole idea is he's got to get in place things that were shortages of. I, I did insist. I, I suggested that we should have people in China at the outset of this event. And when, when it all started in Luhan province. Any of you understand that? Here's reaction, plus his take. Democrats, you keep hearing the chatter, the chitter chatter. Well, they're gonna dump Biden for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Where do I tell America about his record? Former White House Deputy Chief of Staff, Fox News contributor Carl Rove. Carl, good to see you. Um, all right, I guess they, Joe Biden says, I'm out. Then they're gonna bypass Bernie and go to Cuomo? A New York yeah, no, no. hyper super lib that lets out criminals and has a sanctuary state the whole bit. No, no. Look, look. Uh, the only way it's not going to the Democratic nominee is not going to be Joe Biden is if there's a catastrophe involving Biden, and even then they're unlikely to turn to somebody outside uh, the crew that's run for the nomination. So look, I mean, Cuomo was very uh, sharp and very clear and precise with his brother. No way in heck is he going to be run for president or want to be considered for president. Uh, I thought he was very clear on that, and this is a this is a fantasy. And the flirtation that people have with replacing Joe Biden with Andrew Cuomo is indicative of a bigger problem that the Democrats have. You saw it in the ABC Washington Post poll it came out on March 25th, it showed Biden in the lead 49-47, down from a month earlier where he led 52-45. But the interesting thing is this, of the Biden supporters, only 24% say they are very enthusiastic about their choice. That's it. That means that about 12% of the electorate is very enthusiastic about Biden. Among the Trump supporters, 53% say they're very enthusiastic. That's about 26% of the electorate. So better than by a margin of two to one, the electorate is more enthusiastic about Trump than it is about Biden. Well, that is a this. real problem if you're a Democrat. I, I think every Democrat needs to answer the question. Did Donald Trump do the right thing with the travel ban? I think the Democrats in Washington will have to answer. Was it, was it atrocious what they did holding up funding for hospitals and workers and small and big businesses so they could yeah. fund the Kennedy Center and the National Endowment for the Arts? Uh, do they now support open borders and sanctuary cities and free health care for illegal immigrants? These are now front and center. Yeah. Well, and, and you, you talked about the relief bill. I mean, they, they, really, do you think that uh, same-day voter registration was a critical element in fighting the coronavirus? Do you think that $100 million for national public radio was was uh, a critical? You know, they wanted $35 million for the Kennedy Center. They ultimately gave them 25. And do you know what the, what the Kennedy Center proceeded to do? Fire every member of the National Symphony yeah. Orchestra saying, we can't afford to pay you. What was you know that money meant for? It was meant to... Okay, now I don't show this to try to bring any relevance to Fox News. Uh, those of us that read a lot, study a lot, uh, those of us that read books, especially by experts, historians, political scientists, we understand Fox News is garbage. But understand that they are very convincing to their base. Their base thinks that they're the best. And if you were to just watch Fox News, for your entire life, not read a lot of books, not be exposed to other news sources, you would think it was great too, I can guarantee that. So let's break down what they focus on. So Joe Biden, looking at that, like, let's call it what it is, he's stumbling over his words, and he talks about how he should have been in Luhan from the beginning. And yeah, he talks about shortages and how Trump uh, should have done better with that, but he doesn't really go into the specifics of how. He doesn't talk about how Trump should have been pushing for more ventilators more masks back in January. 
they show Karl Rove, who again, going back to that idea of him being in the Bush administration, there are people that were being tortured in Guantanamo Bay. You had, in addition with the Bush administration, you had literally tens of thousands of Iraqi people that were killed, the Iraqi civilians that were killed unnecessarily. So it's not really someone that we should pay a lot of attention to, but Biden does provide these people really ammunition. It's more than believable, uh, the idea that Trump has a lot more enthusiasm among his supporters than Biden does. Understand the Democratic National Committee, they didn't want Bernie. Bernie wasn't uh, the candidate that would help their donors out. They wanted Biden, but there's consequences to that. Biden I go to the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act, voted for NAFTA, the Iraq War. These are things that Trump didn't even vote for. These are things that Trump didn't vote for because he wasn't a politician. And he's going to be able to take that populist message that he did in 16 and honestly convince a lot of people to vote for him again. But it's not too late for Bernie. Uh, Bernie hasn't dropped out at this point, and we'll have to see what happens in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos coming out on history and politics. See you next time.